Jalen Davis, gotcha. what uh, what position do you play? Uh, strong safety, slot, and running back. Slot and running back. Wow. Multidimensional, aren't you? Yes, sir. How tall are you? 5'7", hoping to get taller. Hoping to get taller. What you, maybe you could be like Darren Sproles talking to my. Maybe you could be like a Darren Sproles. Yeah. You think anything like that? You think he's any good? Yeah, he's fast, and he makes plays for his team. That's just what I'm trying to do. I'm going to tell you something. When the Saints let Reggie Bush go and took in uh, a Darren Sproles, it was probably the best move they could have ever done for mm-hmm. themselves. That guy is a triple threat from kickoff to punch to running back to wide receiver, and he's only five foot six, fellas. So the, the the reason I say that it does you don't have to be six foot two, mm-hmm. you could be five foot seven and still make a living in the NFL. But the most important thing besides the NFL is staying in school, respecting your mother and father, coming home at the right time, not hanging on street corners, and never fooling with drugs. And I'm hoping that, that the um, HHPD and Dave Riley and the guys, and we have um, Charlie Perillo in here also today, I guarantee they're telling you that. I'm not the first guy who ever said that to you. And I say that to you in, in, a, in a voice of concern because I've seen things happen already to young kids because they want to blend in with other guys. And they think, hey, we got to be cool. But you don't have to be cool. What you do is be smart. Yes, sir. And smart is, you know what it is? Hitting the books, respect, and making sure you don't miss school. Okay. What colleges contacted you? Um, uh, 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 Jalen. Jalen Davis. Mullenberg has sent me a letter this year for track. Okay. Yes, they're located in Pennsylvania. Right. But I'm hoping I get more as my senior year mm-hmm. so I can expand my looks. Anthony. Yes, sir. Any colleges have contacted you yet? Um, yes, I've got letters from a bunch of different colleges, and I've been offered by Fordham and Old Dominion. For and Old Dominion? Yes, sir. What were the other colleges that uh, sent you letters of intent? Um, Rutgers, UNC. Um, UNC mean University of North Carolina? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Virginia. Um, I got contacted by Alabama. and um, Really? Yes, sir. And you play, what's your position again? Cornerback and wide receiver. And slot a little bit. How big are you? I'm six foot one seventy five. Alabama looking at this kid. Mm-hmm. Did they win the national title last year, fellas? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, speed wise, who's the fastest of the three of these guys right here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, okay. So I want to step up and say I'm faster than this guy. Who, who do you think? Do you think you're faster than both these guys, Jalen? I feel confident. I say yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you say, Anthony? Well, I'm a uh, pocket passer quarterback. Ah, oh, you're, you're taking the, he's taking the back door out without letting nobody know. Yeah, so. so you're a pocket quarterback yeah. fan. You, you so don't mind. Well, you're a wide receiver. I'm confident, yeah. You're confident? Yes, yeah, sir. Four 40s. Times. I'm not sure. You never, you never timed them yet? Uh, I think I ran a four or five last year. I'm not sure. What? I Who's think it? I ran four a four or five, five last year. Well, you don't have to worry about football. Just get with the track team. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You ever hear of a guy named uh, Wilt Chamberlain? Anybody ever hear of him? Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you know he was a track star at Overbrook when he was in high school, right? No, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. He actually he held – Bob Beeman who did it in the Olympus in 1968, broke his long jump record, and, okay? But Wilt Chamberlain was a three-sport star. Jim Brown, you ever hear of Jim Brown, guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, he's in three different Hall of Fames. Track, lacrosse, and football. Okay, so you guys – these two guys are fast here, and that would be Anthony Bonet and Jalen Davis. They're fast guys, and, and we got a pocket quarterback passer here, so he's not as fast as the other guys. So I'm going to go to Anthony Robbins for a second and talk about the quarterback position because that's a, a position that's dominated by one player, basically. Yes. You're going to touch the ball every single time on offense unless you do uh, uh, some type of snap where you snap it to your running back mm-hmm. instead of touching you, and you've got to make the decisions. Now, as a quarterback, you have to make a quick decision sometimes. Yes, sir. How is your vision on the football field when you're in the pocket? What are you seeing around it? Do you see the whole field? I see the whole field. Basically, I keep my my shoulders open so I can see the whole field, not just one side of the field. So I'm taught well, so I just keep my shoulders open and be able to see the whole field. Okay, so when you keep your shoulders open, your feet have to be in a certain position to keep your shoulders open because you want to rotate if you're keeping your shoulders open to deliver right, left, or in the middle, right? Yes, sir, but I have great peripheral vision, so I can see the back of my back. Great side. peripheral vision? Yes. I like that. Good. It's long. I like that. Not good, just great? Great. Oh, great. Okay, good. So you got the peripheral vision going. It's great. That's wonderful. And now you're going to deliver the ball, okay? Yes, sir. My advice to a quarterback, and Donovan McNabb did this, and McNabb 
as many I know he, he was in his career late. He wasn't any good anymore, and people look at him that way. But in Philadelphia, he threw 200 touchdowns before he threw 100 interceptions, mm-hmm. and no one had ever done that before. Because he, he did. some people that were watching him will say, he threw a bad pass that was low. No, what he did was he threw the pass where only his receiver can catch it and knew it was going to get intercepted. So that has to be wisdom from a quarterback. And that's where you get your good hands team. Not the old state people, but your good hands team of, hey, I know that this guy's going to throw it low. But this guy's on me. And they, they practice that, of course. And I'm sure you as a quarterback practice throwing the ball on the break. Yes, sir. Not when he breaks already because you're going to get jumped around and it's going to throw an interception. Yes, sir. So you have to be – but looking the whole field over is a very difficult thing to do, and I'll tell you why. Because Aaron Rodgers, who's a top-notch quarterback in the NFL, okay, his first year that he started, he said, quote, I can only see half the field. Okay? Only see – the next year, he's seen the whole field. And what happened? He became a Super Bowl champ. Right. He won a championship. This year, he just happened to go up against the Giants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>